Hey guys, this is Vadim with MacSec, and today we're gonna see if we can hack the OnePlus 7 Pro's in-display fingerprint sensor. Two months ago, we were able to easily hack the OnePlus 6T's in-display fingerprint sensor by using the same method that we're using in this video, and we also tested the Galaxy S10 Plus's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and we were not able to hack it. So we're interested to see if we can hack this one because it's a lot faster than before. As you guys probably have seen in different videos, it's incredibly quick, so we're curious to see if OnePlus increase the security or if they just made it faster and it still has the same issue of being able to get hacked. This right here is our fake fingerprint made entirely out of Elmer's glue. I'll show you guys how we made this. Grab some tin foil, grab a hot glue gun, put a nice little dab right here, get your thumb wet and just put your fingerprint right into the hot glue, wait for it to dry, then grab some Elmer's glue and fill it in, wait for that to dry and as soon as it dries you can go ahead and peel it back you guys should really be careful because if it's dry, it can crack very easily, but you peel it back, basically take it off like that. And if it's dry, you can also heat it up a little bit before you try to take it off, and you'll end up with a little fake fingerprint like that. So this guy right here. So before we test the 7 Pro, I'm gonna show you guys how easily it works on the OnePlus 6T. You guys can see it's unlocking with my thumbprint, and it's not unlocking with my index finger. Let me show you right there index finger is not recognized. I'm gonna grab my little fingerprint, overlay it, use my index finger, and there you go, it unlocked just like that. You guys can see it's unlocking. Let's move over to the 7 Pro. My thumb is unlocking it. Index finger is not recognized. Let's grab this once again. Uh, yep. It is unlocking it. It's working very quickly and basically every single time I'm not having any issues at all, it is unlocking it. So it seems like, although it's incredibly quick on the 7 Pro, they did not improve the security at all. So just to show you guys that there's no trickery going on here, I'm here in the settings, I'm gonna delete that fingerprint that I have. No fingerprints at all. I'm gonna add a new one of my thumb, just like that getting a good scan. Okay. Now let's put in the edges. This is going to be a one taker. Almost done. There you go. And there you go. Unlocks with my thumb. Doesn't with my index finger. Let's grab our little fake fingerprint here and Okay, not working yet. Let's see if we can get it to unlock. Oh, <laughs> there it goes, guys. As you guys saw, it unlocked. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Oh, there you go. Maybe it's a little special spot on this thing. Seems a little bit more secure this time around. It's funny that the last try I have is actually working. Oh, there you go. There you go. Seems like it's almost every single time now. I'm actually wondering if it works better when it warms up a little bit. So there you have it guys, we're able to hack the OnePlus 7 Pro's fingerprint sensor basically every time. Now of course this is not very practical because it's gonna be very hard for somebody to get your fingerprint and do this, but if you're very serious about security, you're some kind of top executive or something, just know that it is possible to hack this in-display fingerprint sensor. So going back to the previous video where we were not able to hack the Galaxy S10 Plus's fingerprint sensor, we think it might be because it's using a different technology. It's using ultrasonic instead of optical. Now, of course, it's not as quick as the OnePlus 7 Pro is. The Galaxy S10 Plus takes a little bit of extra time, so maybe that's why it's more secure, and that's why we're not able to hack it but Samsung has been improving the speed and reliability of that sensor. That has us wondering if Samsung lowered the security of the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor to make it quicker and more reliable. So if you guys would be interested in a video like that, hit that like button to show us that you're interested. If you want to see more videos on the OnePlus 7 Pro, we've got two of them right there. And if you're not already subscribed, click that button above. This has been Vadim with MaxTech. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> there it goes guys, as you guys saw. Locked.